Ok Jim, puoi spiegare dal tuo punto di vista le differenze fra avere una società e avere un'attività di trading, cosa che tu fai ogni giorno. Quindi quali sono le differenze fra avere una società, avere un business e condurlo e fare trading? The trading side was something that I got into many years ago. But trading in itself didn't meet my psychological needs. Uh, I'm more of a people person. I, I mean, a lot of people say that. And I, anytime somebody says I'm a people person, I kind of look questionably about them. But I, I like the interaction. And I meet some very interesting people. But the trading itself is a very selfish, very narrow game. You're, as a trader, you're trying to take money from this person and put it in your own pocket. And that's all you care about. And that really wasn't fulfilling to me. I do love to trade, but I need more. And the teaching, that, well, the teaching goes back to kind of the history of my family. Uh, both my sisters were teachers, and of course, they always looked down at me because I wasn't a teacher. But as it turns out, I do more teaching and writing than, than they did. But I enjoy it. I enjoy people, I enjoy the interaction, and I enjoy imparting knowledge to other people. But what really is exciting is when you see other people be able to take that knowledge and make it their own. And I actually learn many times, I learn an awful lot from people that question some of the things that I have presented. And I've changed considerably over the years because you learn, it's a woman, that didn't communicate well, or maybe that's not exactly right. Uh, it's the interchange is very powerful. E spiega alle altre persone che cosa pensi o come ti comporti, quali siano le tue strategie, anzi non strategie, ma quale sia la tua filosofia. Spiega agli altri e esponi quello che hai dentro, perché è difficile pensare che magari effettivamente tu hai tutto quanto uh, nella tua mente e poi devi dirla uh, alle altre persone tutta questa cosa che hai in testa, no? Però tu hai detto praticamente che questo ti aiuta ad essere un miglior trader, giusto? Every time you have to explain what you do, it improves your trading. When I was in, ran an institutional trading desk, and of course, you're talking about really big money on the line, and some trades as we say, go south. When you say that go south, it means they didn't work very well. Mm -hmm. And I would bring the traders in, and I said, okay, tell me about your position. And what I found out, if they, oh no, I understand. What I found out, unless they could clearly articulate to me their position, they didn't truly know what they were dealing with. I would give them a yellow legal pad, I'd say, write down your position and what you're thinking. And I would watch, if they couldn't clearly succinctly in a very short period of time articulate their position, I would take the trade away from them, give it to somebody on the other side of the desk. So understanding yourself, understanding the trade is challenging. Beh, vuoi dire che sei non sei in grado di vendere alle altre persone quello in cui credi e la tua posizione, allora significa che praticamente non hai sufficiente conoscenza o autostima in quello che stai facendo, qualcosa di questo tipo? I have self confidence in what I'm doing because I've spent years working on it and in changes. If we have people that have taken multiple courses with us over the years. And if you ask those people, what is the similarity to what you took seven years ago to what it is today, they said there's no similarity. Because as, you, as what happens in trading, the same thing happens in teaching. You are constantly evolving. You're learning from self-taught. You're learning from your students. You're learning from answering questions. You're learning from the market. Learning never stops. Mi stai dicendo quindi che il tuo tipo, il tuo stile di trading è in continua evoluzione? It is constantly evolving. What I did three weeks ago may have evolved because I've changed, 
or it may have evolved because the market changed. The markets that we've had in the United States in the past couple of years, or what they call the MEM traders, is an entirely different atmosphere of the new traders that have come into the market and the volatility. It is something that I have never previously experienced. So I've had to adjust and adapt to what the market is in front of us right now. Bene, gli ultimi due anni hai detto praticamente che sì, ok, prendendo in considerazione il mercato americano, c'è stato un cambiamento rispetto agli ultimi dieci anni precedenti, magari? Assolutamente, For example, volatility during the last bull market cycle averaged probably someplace about, you know, 16, 17%. One time it got under 10%. Recently, we've had some spikes up into the high 60s, but right now volatility is running about 25, 26%. Just the volatility itself tells you that there's been substantial change and prolong change in the market. Okay, thank you, Jim. Sono Gianluca Lambusta, fondatore della Cenochi, trader professionista a 13 anni, faccio trading dal vivo ogni giorno e se ti è piaciuto il contenuto che hai appena visto, allora metti la campanella, seguici sui nostri canali social, ci vediamo al prossimo contenuto.